All right, see, you learn something every day. All right, here. Hi, Paul Slackis, Good News Broadcast, speaking to Bert Sperling. Hi, Bert, how are you? Doing fine, Paul, thank you. All right, this Bert knows a lot of things. We, actually, we started off talking about Pete Seeger, our good friend. We're having a Halloween party this weekend, and Bert says he uh, he listened a lot to uh, Pete's brother, right? That's right. His, I think his half-brother, Mike, Mike Seeger. Aha, uh -huh, okay, another fiddle or player. We're going to talk about... Uh, and. Uh, and uh, fourth annual sexual health report card ranks uh, access to sexual health resources and information at major BCS colleges and universities. Um, okay, tell us what's going on here. Well, this is the fourth year for the study, and it's uh, sort of evolved into a, a very important study. What we looked at was the sexual health and awareness on, on college campuses. And what we looked at was not um, how much sex there is or sexual activity. We didn't look at sexually transmitted diseases. What we did look at was the information that's available to the students um, and uh, with the notion that the more information and resources available for the students, uh, the better opportunity they have to make their own best choices and best decisions. I so, agree with uh, that. It's very important, and a lot of people don't know about sex. I don't think sex is taught in... Do, we t do they teach sexual education in high school or in college? Is it like a course, a mandatory? No, right, Bert? Right. I don't think so. I think they probably figure it that when you get to college, you know everything you should know and uh, regarding that, and it's, uh, it's up to you. And the answer to that is, the answer is no. People don't no. know. People don't know about, as you said, sexually transmitted diseases, what that is, what that means, and, uh, and even worse, uh, uh, you know, AIDS and things that are very uh, concerning, right? Uh, absolutely. And that, that's why this uh, study is, I think, pretty important because it points out the differences between the different colleges. Uh, and uh, Trojan partnered with us to, uh, to make the resources available for this study. Uh, we looked at uh, over 140 colleges. Millions of students uh, attend those colleges um, all over the country. And... Um, it's interesting to see the, the, the differences between the schools and how they sort of um, uh, approach uh, information and uh, resources for the students. So how would, uh, uh, first of all, how do you get the uh, students to, uh, is it by, uh, they go around to one by one, or is it a, a computerized uh, uh, research? Well, it, it's pretty interesting. What we do uh, is there, a, we took a, several different paths to that. Number one, we contacted the student health centers and asked them what services they provide. Second of all, uh, we, looked at, um, we looked at it from the standpoint of the students themselves, uh, which was if we were students, uh, how would we get information? The answer, of course, is via the Internet. And we went to the website of the, uh, all the student health centers for the school and then ranked them in a series of categories, about 13 different categories, uh, as far as the services they provided and the usability uh, and the information that it provided. And finally, we contacted the students themselves via Facebook, not directly, but we invited them to participate in a poll, and we got thousands of responses uh, from the students on how they felt about the student health center and the information and services they provide. Well, let's talk about it. it. Probably, I don't know if it does matter. Maybe if you're going to that school, it matters. But it's always an individual thing, sexual situations, right, to begin with. But so, what are some of the kinds of things that people should be thinking about when they are at a school? What are some of the resources that a school should have? What are some of the questions you asked? Well, some of the things we looked at were the uh, the student health centers and something as simple as the hours that it's open. Okay. If, um, there is. Uh, on a lot of schools, for instance, they're open from Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, and those aren't exactly uh, uh, student hours. Students might uh, be in classes. They might not be available when, when, it's, uh, when it's open. We also look whether or not students need appointments because sometimes students need information now. They can't plan their day, and they would like to drop in and try and see somebody. Uh, so that was important. Um, we looked at the availability and the information about different contraceptive choices uh, and testing for HIV and STDs, um, if, it, if there was a cost involved, whether it was available on campus. Uh, let's see what else we looked at. Um, the student peer groups, 
that they might have, which are students talking to other students about these issues. Maybe they make presentations to dorms and such. Um, and uh, say uh, sexual uh, say uh, counseling for uh, sexual harassment or attacks, uh, and then information in the student publication. So as you can see, it's very comprehensive. And very important, actually, quite important. It's um, to, for parents. One, uh, the parents, so so how are, how can somebody uh, see results? I mean, I know we're going to put down the schools that are the first and the last, or blah blah blah. But right. how how do we find out? This is there a website you can see the information on? You bet. Uh, they can go to uh, Trojan trojancondoms.com dot com. Okay. Uh, to find a full uh, list of the uh, schools, the rankings and also a text of the study. They can also find the same information uh, and maybe in a different format on bestplaces.net, uh, which is our own website. Uh, has a lot of best places information, demographic information about, uh, and uh, information about our studies that we've done as well. Uh -huh, okay. Now, Trojan uh, Corporation I itself uh, um, has done a lot of outreach into the communities over the years, I believe. They have done a lot of outreach, and uh, this is part of it. Now, this sort of, um, rather than talking about condoms in particular, which of course is their uh, their 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 focus, uh, they expanded it in in uh, in providing for this uh, study. Uh, they wanted to create sort of a dialogue uh, for students uh, to talk with. The, the administration and uh, find out uh, how the different schools rated um, with others, uh, so that they compare and can see how they uh, how they're doing with the current state of uh, of the uh, sexual health awareness in different campuses. How about high school? I mean, let's uh, the college is one level. Uh, unfortunately, I think that there's you know sexual um, openness prior to getting to college, right? And oh, for also oh. those that don't go to college, um, high schools, uh, high school student, this information would be helpful as well, wouldn't you say? I would certainly think so. And uh, boy, that's uh, that's a whole another topic, of course. But uh, uh, I wouldn't even uh, I couldn't imagine how to look at that. But you know, this would be a great way to look at the information, and a lot of the information that's available on the uh, uh, the college websites is also available, of course, to anyone that has a computer, thanks to the Internet. And um, uh, so you could look at some of the top-rated schools and then go to their website, and any student out there, whether you're in high school or in college, and find the information you're looking for would be a great place to start because uh, those are great resources. Okay, last question, Bert. What's good news for you? Well, boy, I'll tell you... Uh, uh, you know, it would be good news. Uh, I see that there's so much hardship these days as far as uh, the economy. To me, good news is when I hear about a plant opening instead of closing. I hear about people getting jobs. I hear about people staying in their houses. So these days, that's good news to me. Okay, Bert, thank you very much. You're always doing a good job, and uh, look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Paul. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.